are some facts. It is estimated that 1 in 10 people have dyslexia. Potentially 6.3 million people have dyslexia in the UK. Around 4% of the population have severe dyslexia. Dyslexia is not tied to IQ. Einstein was dyslexic and had an estimated IQ of 160. Dyslexia is not just about getting letters or numbers mixed up or out of order. Dyslexia is a language-based learning disability or disorder that includes poor word reading, word decoding, oral reading fluency and spelling. Dyslexia occurs in people of all backgrounds and intellectual levels. Dyslexia has nothing to do with not working hard enough. 20% of children leave school unable to read properly. With appropriate teaching methods, dyslexics can learn successfully. Over 50% of NASA employees are dyslexic. Dyslexia runs in families. Parents with dyslexia are very likely to have children with dyslexia. Dyslexics may struggle with organisational skills, planning and prioritising, keeping time, concentrating with background noise. Dyslexics are extremely creative. Please tell us how your dyslexia has affected your life. Well, it's always been hard, you know, reading. Uh, and every time, in first year, when I was doing my spellings, I always used to get really, really bad results, lower than anyone else in the class. And one day, the, the English teacher asked me, do you have dyslexia? And I was like, yeah, because in year six, uh, I was always in this thing called reading support, and you had to read to someone and I always was having trouble with the reading and I've never been good at that. Steve Jobs struggled in school from his early days in college where he grew frustrated with formal schooling and dropped out just after one year. Jobs did not like school because he didn't believe that it had a practical application in his life. Einstein could not speak until the age of three. He also found it hard to express his thoughts and ideas in writing. He had also struggled with foreign languages. He found it easier to learn in a more creative and different way. Einstein is a role model to all children who have dyslexia. Mr Branson, who dropped out of school at 16, said his dyslexia was treated as a handicap. My teachers thought I was lazy and dumb. I couldn't keep up or fit in. His dyslexia embarrassed him and he had to memorise and recite word for word in public. Hans was a writer and a poet who had dyslexia. He wrote many novels including The Little Mermaid, The Ugly Duckling and The Emperor's New Clothes. His books are still being made into films today including Disney's Frozen. As a child, Anderson only went to school occasionally. He had much preferred memorising stories rather than learning to read. His author's voice was unique in that tales could be appreciated by children while at the same time their hidden social satire could be enjoyed by adults. Leonardo da Vinci was a famous Renaissance inventor, painter, sculptor who also had interests in science, music, mathematics and cartography, just to name a few. His artworks included the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. His designs included a parachute, an armoured tank and an ornithopter which was a flying machine that looked like a bird. Like the other left-handed dyslexics, Leonardo wrote in reverse, not aware that he was doing this. His spelling was also extremely erratic, another example of his dyslexia. 